Savannah Chatham County Public Schools are giving the all clear after a reported social media threat. It prompted officials to heighten security at three area high schools today. One of them is Islands High School, where WSAV News 3's Brian Ray is joining us live. Brian, the police say they were warned in advance of the potential threat. Good evening, Ben and Tina. District officials say they were first notified of a post that appeared to be targeting schools in the area late last night. Following an investigation, they now say that that threat is not credible. The district's police chief tells me that social media threats like this one are not something new for the department. It's, it's becoming a, a nationwide epidemic. Chief Terry Enoch with the Board of Education Police Department says social media threats are designed to breed fear and anxiety. Wednesday's threat prompted officials to increase security at Jenkins, Johnson, and Islands High Schools. Some parents even decided to keep their kids home. It's a scary situation. Um, coming into the school, not knowing what can go on, and you think to come to school to learn and it be a safe environment. But then you have all of this going on, so. The district said the post in question was discovered to be a hoax just before noon. A similar threat has been found circulating in several districts across the state. One parent says she fears this could come to life here at home. This is putting ideas in all these kids' heads, but today they're prepared. Today they were maybe expecting something to happen, but tomorrow maybe they're not. Enoch says increased police presence, random contraband checks, and social media monitoring are all part of the department's response to these situations. It's also us wasting a lot of resources. Um, you know, kids become frightened, and parents are angry and alarmed, and you know, it's something that's become a fast-growing problem. And uh, you know, we're working proactively to prevent prevent it from happening. School is set to resume as normal on Thursday, but parents hope answers will be found. And the day someone is going to get in trouble for posting this because it, it, it created a hostile environment. So I just pray that they actually get help. Chief Enoch says as of right now, officials believe that the person behind the post is not related to Savannah Chatham County Public Schools. I'm told that the district's police department is working with other agencies, including the GBI, in this ongoing investigation. Officials say if you see any suspicious activity, to report it immediately. Live at Islands High School, Brian Ray, WSAV News 3, on your side. Brian, thank you.